Hey guys, welcome to Testimonial Talks. This is YouTuber Mom. This is YouTuber Son. And um, we're spending some time together at the same time. We are trying to build our channel where we are going to bring you some honest reviews of what we think of certain things. So here today we are reviewing the KitchenAid built-in wall oven and this is a single oven and the model number just in case you wanted to reference it is it is i'm i'm gonna tell it okay it's k o s e five zero zero e s s zero two if you got that uh then then just write it down on a piece of paper if you want to get this oven but if you uh if you didn't get it you could just pause the video and then sometimes rewind rewind or <laughs> yeah, something. yeah that works um so anyways as you can see this is the single wall oven by KitchenAid and I just want it there show you guys this is the brand that we are reviewing today yes and we are going to go through and then the various things that we do sincerely enjoy about this wall oven and then there's like this clock on the top. Look, so there's a clock on the top right over there. Um, yes, yeah, so we would have to there. Yeah, and then there's the clock that Steven's talking about. Well, yeah. you two are son, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, well, it's fine. It's fine. But like, okay, you could see that there's like a lot of prints on there, like fingerprints, because we usually set up timers for something like when I read or something. I don't know, but. Usually, I time myself if I'm trying to uh, uh, read like uh, a, a sonic book, like time, like my goal if it was 30 seconds or something. I don't know, that would be impossible though. <laughs> right, so that is part of the clock portion that Steven just mentioned and we're gonna walk you through other areas of the screen. So next, we are going to review one of the sides where you could tell what actually came with the oven so please bear with okay us. guys now i'm going to walk you through the place where you set the time uh so um, uh, are you sure because i'm not pointing at that one. <laughs> oh, oof oof uh yeah okay <laughs> i guess it's easy connect easy connect yeah, yeah easy okay. connective oh Easy convex, sorry. I didn't look at that right. Okay, so we have bake, boil, proof, and then uh, we have easy convect, and then it's convect bake, convect boil, convect roast, and then, um, yeah, and then uh, it, this is like uh, the cook time thing. I don't really want to press it. Yeah, I don't know what it does, and plus I'm not cooking anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're not. <laughs> yeah, and then and then uh, this right over here would stop the cooking time. Now we are going to uh, move uh, to the time place. So oh. let uh, me just turn. It. Okay, so now we are on the other side of the screen. This is where you choose the time that you want. Uh, so, but look, I have a secret thing. And if you guys want to know the secret thing, then don't skip this. So look, I'm going to do something. Oh, wait, hold on. Huh? So he pressed timer. Okay, now you go like that. I'm just going to do 99999. Yes, okay. So 99999, you can't do 100. That That's kind of sad. I mean, also at the same time, it's not, but cool. Okay, so... So uh, look, if I if I press set, it, it does nothing. Yeah, not really a secret, but I think everybody knows that. So yeah, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah. So okay, now let's try. Now, why do you think it does that? Where it, you put nine 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 nine, and then it doesn't let you start it. Because it doesn't want you to put much time. Like, of course, you cannot wait like that long. Like. You're going to be like this. Oh, when this timer is done. Like, when is it done? Like 100 hours, right? 100 hours later. Yeah, like almost 100 hours. Okay, let's see if this works. I knew it. I, I just I just smelt it coming in the future. Okay. And then if you press off, you got to do that. Double the time. 
and then yeah i think you could do um so you could do like i think you could do 36 minutes yeah you could probably do 36 yeah see you could do like uh 36 hours or something yeah yeah i think you could do 36 oh no that that's minutes and then that's seconds so i guess 36 35 minutes so yeah well that that's about the time over here yeah although it's a really great clock uh yeah so right and you could actually set this timer for hours you are actually able to do that for baking you actually need that so it does let you do it you just have to know what times you are adding in yeah so besides that um the front screen you could you know lack the oven while it is baking so that little guys don't get their hands in there while it's cooking so that's a really nice feature but most modern ovens do come with that so this is the feature that this KitchenAid wall oven does have where you could lock it to protect your little ones I'm well, not I'm sure for all the reasons but that's my reason as a mother of many children well I'm not so. sure if you guys noticed that uh, while while YouTuber mom was talking about all this stuff, um, I did this. So look, if you do this, oh wait, hold on. Timer. Nine look, nine. That, this is actually like kind of cool. So because look, it does. One hour and thirty eight minutes. Yeah. Very so. nice. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. So now that you guys saw Steven, you know, show you the screen, which he does often have fun with. And yes, when he's reading, he does spend quality time with the timer. So usually he spends an extra 10 minutes on that. But that's not about the Yeah, just the 20 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to move on to that the inside. That has nothing inside. to do with it. Actually, before we move on to the inside of this oven, we want to show you one cool little thing that we do like a lot about this oven. Um, all, of our, all of our appliances are stainless steel, so it's nice that this wall oven actually has red on the side. It's a nice accent, so when you're looking at it from yeah. far away, it looks really nice. So we yeah, want to show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show that. you. Okay, so guys, um, now we're gonna show you the red design on the back. It's right over here. Yeah, and yes, just gonna and zoom then in. we can yeah. zoom in to show you guys. There you go. Yeah, okay. And then you could also see the peripherals of this oven. It's really nice and thin looking to yeah, the side. Yeah, I'll show you. Um, there you go. So it's really nice, okay? So that's that. And now let's walk you inside. Okay, guys. So we are now in the inside view of the oven. And we just want to show you guys this oven inside should actually be three racks. Right now it has two. I took one out permanently because I don't think the space is big enough to have three racks and I actually bake a lot of meals in big pots, big baking dishes and I can't have um I can't have that bit of, you know, an annoying little rack in there at all times. So I just took it out to save myself some time and aggravation, but it does come with three. So let me now um, zoom in to one of the racks that I absolutely love. So if you pay close attention to the middle rack, there it is, this rack right here. As you can see, there are hinges on the side that it does come on. And then I am going to slide it and show you guys the beautiful thing about this middle rack. Okay guys, and if I were, and as I was saying, one of my favorite things about this oven is the middle rack. I absolutely love this. I mean, seriously, look how far out you could take that. It's really much like you could take the entire rack outside of the oven. And I'll give you a side view so that you could see how far out that actually is. This is standing next to the oven. You could see that that's completely almost level with the door. So it's really nice when you have something heavy and it doesn't matter. I'm going to place a really heavy pan on it. I show you guys that even with something extremely heavy on, it still glides really nicely. So just watch this. There you go. That is one of my favorite parts. Okay. Other than that, hmm, 
let's talk about everything else shall we so this oven is great the color um stainless steel is one of my favorites um the blue inside is fantastic it comes with self-cleaning option which is great um, but wait steven wants to tell you something so that's basically really it about the oven like I think it's going to have to end here, but uh, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but look, there's still the time that I put there from, uh, <laughs> look, like, it, it, it still has the one hour and 38, like, 28, hour. yeah, 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 because yeah. we've been playing stop and go, and um, one of our, well, one of my children came in, and, um, so we had to stop the video for a second and come back in. Yeah. But sorry. um no, we are going to um unfortunately Steven I, there are a few things that I want to mention to everyone because we forgot to tell them about the rust portion, about the baking. Yeah, no. I was just joking about it. Oh <laughs> I thought you were real. <laughs> I want I want to oh. see what you guys would like actually do. So Oh, I see, I see. Well you got me on that one because <laughs> I believed you and hey, you know what? If we have to stop it, we have to stop it, right? But yeah. we want to make sure that we tell them the actual truth about this oven. So, well, actually, I'm going to uh, just turn off that timer. We don't really so, need it. No, we don't need the timer. So you could turn it off while we do this. Um, but let's talk about the negatives that I was just saying, guys. So, my goodness, um, the baking. So beginning with the baking option. If you are baking something... I have never really had issues with cakes and cookies or really anything um, like meats and stuff. Sometimes I have to cook it for a little bit longer. So this is why you could see over there, I have that little, um, I'll zoom in underneath the pan. You can probably see that there. And I'll point, I'll do something so that you guys could bring your attention to it. But I have that in there because I want to make sure that when I'm cooking, I have the correct temperature, which sometimes is not completely accurate. If you put in 350, you may have to end up, you know, adding a few degrees to the oven to make it the actual 350, for example. So you may have to do a little bit uh, more like a 360 or 355, something like that. Anyways, I hope you get the point. So that's issue number one issue number two which is huge okay and this we noticed um i'll say about a year after ownership or so um maybe two okay um the broil option if you go from baking to broil or just quickly to broil and you have something that has a lot of humidity for example say you're baking some fries some french fries you put them in the air, they are almost ready and you want to crispen them up a bit and you put that broiler on, the oven shuts off. After three minutes or so, as soon as those french fries start to evaporate the water, it shuts off. It says too hot, error code. I wish I had a picture of it to show you guys, but that happened to this oven. And of course this is electric, so it's, you know, a little concerning at times, but it just stops working and then you have to open the door and then you give it a few minutes and then <laughs> caress it. I mean, I'm hey, like you don't have to caress the oven, but I mean, hey, it's just annoying. say like error then they, they are twins like with the timer because that also like, like trolls you too, because like, yeah. Like they're twins, so they should do the thing. <laughs> yeah, thing. it's kind of odd that it does that. But anyways, that's one negative thing. You're the... thinking like probably a ghost like just resets it. <laughs> you know, like Maybe. this. Oh, who's there? Like, oh no. <laughs> that could be, yes. Um, the other thing is, guys, I will now, you know, stop this video and then start again another clip because I want to walk you inside. And for that, unfortunately, I can't. I hope I can get good images. But I want to speak about some rust that began shortly after we got the oven. It started with one minute spot and then it migrated to now a whole situation. And this oven is not that old. It's just about four years old. And mind you, I cleaned this oven as, uh, as 
recommended by the manufacturer which is to do the self clean i take out the racks and i do the self cleaning the racks i wash outside by myself nothing to do with the oven so i'm not sure what they missed or if they use really cheap materials but i just figure you should see in case you were trying to invest in this and if you were you may want to get yourself a good warranty with it so that you don't have to endure this so hold on one second while i go okay guys i hope that the video is doing its due diligence i'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird but my head is actually inside the oven now if you see those little scratches it they're not scratches they're kind of cracks almost like this is going to break in pieces i want to let you know nothing has fallen i'll move this right so that you can get a better view nothing has fallen in this inside this oven and this is constantly self-cleaned so that i'm not too sure what's going on but you could see how that is and if i put a finger there you could kind of see i guess you know for dimension purposes so that you could see that is you know i'm an adult this is an adult finger how big that is that's spot number one and then i'll show you again spot number two an infinity <laughs> and um i say that because as you can see that material that they use inside is kind of cheap so i could see why that would rust and all that orange stuff that you see there that's rust yeah and there you go more rust and if i just keep on going i don't want to drive you guys crazy but there's just rust everywhere i'm sure that right here is going to start pretty soon because you see this coloration there and then you see the edges right there they're discolored and rusted and again more rust and that hmm is very very rough to see when you have only owned your oven for my goodness less than five years so if i had to do it all over again oh wait hold on let me show you another spot right there you could see that yeah yes. you could see like uh, the model number up mm, there. yes but like if you see it up there but anyways um that's really all we had guys yeah bottom line is that if i had to do it all over again design wise i would 100 percent want to get a kitchenaid well, not a KitchenAid, a stainless steel wall oven, built in, um, single, double, doesn't matter, with a rack that slides, that is blue. I love, absolutely love the color inside, the self-cleaning option, fantastic, and everything else, really great. Um, but I would probably wouldn't get this specific one, okay?